Hi there. Hope you liked our series 1 and series 2 tricks on word. Well, here comes series 3. Now, in this case, I'm going to talk about one trick which people know about but they do not know the application of. What is that? Let's suppose that I am uh, using some of the public available PDF documents and I'm probably reading them out and have to make a report out of it. So when I have to make a report out of it, quite often we choose that particular statement. Control C, go back to Word document, paste it, right? And again, we start reading and again, we find some relevant statement. Again, we copy, again, we go ahead and try to paste it. And we do that continuously from different PDF documents or let's say different Excel or Word files. Well, rather than doing this copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste jugglery, which distracts, which actually breaks your attention, why not we find a mechanism which lets us just do copy, 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 copy while we are reading and focus more on the relevant stuff of the document. And then later, once the process finishes, we are going to paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it, paste it. Okay, now how is it going to happen? So let me show you. If I go to Word document, right below the Format Painter, there's a small tiny button which if you hover around, it tells you Clipboard. I'm going to click on Clipboard. Okay, something that we may have seen in the past. Well, what happens now is if I go to this particular document, let's say I'm copying this particular line, Control C. Okay, I go to the next line, Control C. Let me choose it correctly. Control C and the, finally this line, Control C. And again, going to the other document, choosing this particular line, Control C. Now, once all this is pasted up to 24 items, I can go to Word and notice on the left hand side, I am getting the same thing in a chronological order. Enter. I can then paste. Simply clicking on that area, let me paste this. So you do not bother about copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste. You only bother about copy, 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 copy and paste later. Not only it copies the text, it can also take snapshots and pictures. So if I take a snapshot of, let's say, this area, correct? Notice in the clipboard gallery, I have this particular image there as well. So it's a very fascinating feature, a very, very quick way to work with multiple documents at the same time. That is clipboard. In fact, in the later version of uh, Microsoft Office software, if I press Ctrl C twice, it quickly makes the clipboard appear. This happens from 2010 version onwards. On the other hand, another trick, if you're working with tables quite often, let's say I'm making one table and maybe the columns has been arranged in a manner that the width is not equal. You might simply choose the table, go to layout and there's something called distribute column. Notice automatically the columns have been distributed equally. Now you want to disengage the third row from the table above. So a lot of people do this. They cut it, they press enter, they press control V. Well, these three steps can be done in just one. How? I choose the cell, the third row and press control shift enter, right? And then probably add one row here. And this can be a different rule than the above one. Once that is done, I might press delete key and they get joined together. This is very useful when you're working with uh, tables uh, stretching across multiple pages. And once I'm done, I want to insert a page break. So what do I do? Control shift enter. It quickly takes me to another page. In fact, if I remember correctly, if I press control enter, it does take me to the next, next page and that's the page break in between. So while we are in a table, the control shift enter helps me in getting the tables row disassociated while I can use control enter or shift enter to get another page break on screen. Use this and trust me, one of these days you'll thank me for discussing all these shortcut keys. See you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed our YouTube videos and I really, really appreciate that if you could subscribe to our videos which will also encourage me to give more such videos in the times to come and you can also watch some of our popular programs which have been liked by a lot of viewers. See you soon.